Good morning, good morning, good morning. A couple of weeks back, I was in the garden and I rubber band some of my butterfly weed um, to save the seeds. These are the pods from the butterfly weed. I want to incorporate them um, in another area of my garden. So I decided instead of having the fluff that comes out and this is one that I wasn't able to band off really well. The fluff, um, I was trying to prevent it from flying away in the garden. These seeds are viable. These are butterfly uh, weed seeds that will attract the pollinators. But I didn't want them to blow all over the yard. So I added a rubber band to them. I allowed them to dry for a few hours um, out back. And then I placed all the pods inside of a uh, brown bag for a week or two. Now I want to save the seeds and store them for next year so I can actually have butterfly weed in another location of the garden. The best way to do that is to prevent all of the fluff from coming out of the, uh, out of the pod. Primarily what you do is you break off the top and you pull the fluff, all of the fluff. We don't need all of this fluff. We're trying to save the seeds. And once you pull the fluff out and just hold it tight at the pod, once you open the pod up, you'll have all the seeds from the uh, milkweed that you can store over the winter months and uh, propagate in another area of your garden. So what I have is a coffee filter and I'll just empty the uh, pots, the seed pods inside of the coffee filter and I'll let them dry out for a few more weeks and then I'll start them in um, undergrow lights in the spring of the year. So again, the rubber band prevents the, the fluff of the uh, pods from opening up and uh, di being distributed all over the yard. You just take, you hold it tight, you hold the top of the pod and you just pull the fluff, all of the fluff. And once you pull all the fluff out, and you don't want to do this outside, especially on a windy day. Once you pull all of the fluff out, a, gen a generous pull. When you open up the pot, just save the seeds. So this is the pot. You wanna hold it very tight and pull all of the fluff from the top. Don't allow the seeds to come out, just pull the fluff. That makes it easier to collect the seeds without having all of the fluff that is in every pod. So once you do that, you can open it up. There are your seeds. Now you can either save the seeds for a later time this is the fluff that I'm going to push aside because I don't need that. You can save the seeds or you can share them with your neighbor. Just the center of the pod and pull all of the fluff just like that. And like I said, you don't want to do it on a windy day. You don't want to do it while you're outside. Once you do that, then you can open up the pod completely and there you'll find your seeds for next season and 
these are the seeds from the uh, butterfly weed that I had out back. I have a picture to share with you. This is one of the pollinators, the monarch butterflies, uh, only host plant that they will lay, they will lay their eggs on and germinate a caterpillar that will turn into a beautiful butterfly. So I thought I would hop on quickly and show you. These are all of the seeds. Now you can go to the supermarket or your grocery store or even your garden center and purchase seeds. But why do that when in fact you can save your own seeds? And let's not forget, once you fold this over to create a storage container for next season, you might want to write on the label, uh, the date, the name of the seed, and uh, that way you won't be surprised when you open up your filter to see that you have another uh, seed that you're not familiar with. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy gardening.